you're new to the show, guess what? You're going to have to understand my Raider rumor scale. Here it is. Zero Chucky heads. Tuck rule. Tuck that. This rumor is not going to happen. One Chucky head is a small shred of truth. I like to think 25% chance of happening. Two Chucky heads. People are talking. This rumor is 50-50. Three Chucky heads, pretty likely 75% chance this rumor's gonna happen. Four Chucky heads, believe it, baby. 100% this rumor's gonna happen. And is he tied for the most sacks? I'm giving this one four Chucky heads, believe it, baby. Now, I say most sacks. It's the most sacks among rookies in the NFL. And he's up there, and I think it's great to see Maurice Hurst because I think he's one of the best stories, if not the best story of the Raiders this entire season. And he has been spectacular. He's been taking on double teams, and he's been handling the interior line. These are his stats for this season. He's got 21 tackles, three sacks, one forced fumble, and two tackles for a loss. But he's been stepping up, and he's been playing a high amount of snaps and having other younger players like Arden Key try to get after the quarterback. And I think there's a bright, bright future for Maurice Hurst. So... I want to know from you, has Maurice Hurst been the best rookie this season? You all can rip Gruden all you want, but if there's one thing I think John Gruden deserves a little bit credit for, it's how productive the rookies have actually been. Colt Miller sure has had his ups and downs, as all rookies do, but Maurice Hurst, Arden Key, we're seeing a lot of these players who Gruden drafted himself play really well. So I want to know from you, who has been the best rookie this season? I'm going to comment, obviously, my man Maurice Hurst. He's looked pretty good on and off the field. If you think I look good, it's because I'm wearing Miz in the main. And if you want to wear a shirt that's as comfortable as mine, you're going to go to www.comfortable.af. These shirts, they soak up all your sweat, and they're super stretchy. I actually bet Maurice Hurst could actually fit in this shirt, and he would look awesome because that's how stretchy these things are. Shout out to Miz in the main for making me look, eh, at least decent. Next rumor coming up here on the board, the first overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft belongs to the Oakland Raiders. I'm going to give this one four Chucky heads. Believe it, baby. It's because I think the Raiders are going to have the first overall pick in the draft. And when I say that, it's because I just don't really see them winning another game. And they have the number one overall pick right now. They are the only team in the NFL that has only one win. So with that, they have the number one pick. They have they've shown no signs of winning a game anytime soon. The offense is sputtering. And they actually have a pretty tough schedule for the rest of the season. So I'm going to bring it up here on the board. Week 11 against the Cardinals, but that game is in Arizona. I think that's going to be a loss at Baltimore. Probably a loss. The Chiefs, sorry, loss. Steelers, do we really think we're going to beat the Steelers? They just dropped 52 on the Carolina Panthers. I don't think it's going to happen. And then weeks 15 through 17 at the Bengals. Sure, the Bengals are struggling on defense, but still at Cincinnati, not going to happen. The Broncos is the only game where I think that the Raiders at least kind of have a chance. But I don't know if they're going to win it. And then the Chiefs is a loss as well. So, Raider Nation, I want to know from you. Will the Raiders have the number one overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft? I want you to give me a laughing face for yes or a wow face for no on Facebook. And if you're on YouTube, just comment yes or no. So, next rumor coming up here on the board. I think it's a good one. And it's based off exactly what I was just talking about. Is Justin Herbert going to be the number one overall pick in the 2019? 19 NFL Draft by the Raiders. I'm going to give this one only one Chucky head, and I think there's a small shred of truth. So Mike Renners from Pro Football Focus came out and said, don't be surprised if the Raiders take Justin Herbert first overall. Now he said this basically stating that obviously that the Raiders are going to move on from Derek Carr and cut him and save $15 million. He also said that they would pass on Nick Bosa, who personally is one of my favorites, if not my favorite player for the Oakland Raiders. Justin Herbert is a quarterback that I like a lot out of Oregon, but there's a chance that he might stay. And yes, Justin Herbert is the number one quarterback, I think, if he comes out. But we can all agree the Raiders' biggest need is on defense. The Raiders' top needs are defense, some defense, and probably a little bit more defense. And if the Raiders don't use that number one overall pick on a defender like Nick Bosa, I'm going to be really angry, even though I do like Justin Herbert. But I want to know from you. Who will be the quarterback of the Raiders in 2019? Because if they take Herbert, it's probably going to be Herbert. But if they don't take Herbert, will it still be Carr? I personally am going to say I still think it's going to be Derek Carr. is going to be the quarterback for the Oakland Raiders in 2019. But again, please comment below because this show isn't just about me. I want to know from you. 